Watts is only two and a quarter mile square with the most public housing units anywhere west of the Mississippi. Poverty is amongst the highest in the nation. It's a food desert. It's an economic desert. I'm trying to make the point that despite all of these things, people long and hope for a better way of life, and that's what compels me. For me, this community is very nostalgic. We are taught to survive. We're talking about the cooks, the artists, the music. I had no idea. I was privileged to be in Watts. I actually spoke my future to life. That dream is coming to fruition. When I was coming up, I was loved. In this neighborhood, I was loved. This program was made possible in part by generous support from Carol Chandler, Paula R. Kendrick, and Nikolai Chandler Bokin. If I was a regular nine to five or doing a regular job every day, I'd probably go crazy. Why I love my job and what gets me up every day. Um, number one is the hope that I feel lives in the people of Watts. I'm not that literate. I'm not college educated. I don't know if it's inertia or momentum. One of them keeps me going. One of them is what gets me out of bed every morning and gets me down here to work. Hey, Chris. Yeah. You know, you guys have this pile of dirt over here. Right. Um, I think you should take it out of here before you put this pad in here. Yeah, okay. I'm over here working with these guys. Uh, they're, they're putting in the gray pipe. Uh, they'll put in the black pipe. I'm getting the gray. Okay, what about the drain pipe? We have to bring the electrical and the, and the drains up to the same place, but it might have to come around to a different spot over here. I'll get the plan from Chris. When are you going to be over here? Where, where is the where is the ABS pipe so that we can get these drains in? You know, we're going to have the grand opening um, next Friday from 11 to 4, which you're welcome to, to join us at. We acquired Mudtown Farms back in 2005. What it started out as was a dream to create a beautiful urban farm park where people could find solace and respite and we'd be growing what people need within a food desert. Okay, let's go check it out. The reason that Mudtown Farms is so important to me is because when I agreed to take this job 22 years ago, it was with the determination that I was gonna extend my father's legacy. When WLCAC started in 1965, one of the first things that he did, he started growing food. Mudtown Farms became alive in my mind that here's an opportunity to extend that part of the legacy. Mudtown promises to be one of our greatest achievements. And at the same time, one of our most worrisome undertakings. The project has been plagued with cost overruns, time delays. There's a lot of work to getting it complete. When we have the grand opening, we hope that the neighborhood will come and they'll see a beautiful safe space that has a sort of spiritual veil over it. Like nothing happens in that space but peace. Can't give me enough money, can't give me enough of anything else but fulfillment, knowing that I've actually made a difference, but also as an extension of my father's work, of the work of WLCAC, that it becomes part of our shared legacies.